The robot project that I had worked on and documented in my YouTube channel, Lopbot Robotics, were all wheel type robots. I am now going to tell you about my latest robot project. As you can see, uh, it is a hexapod robot. However, there is a lot of detail related to this project that you cannot see in a reasonable time. So I'm planning on uh, two follow-on videos, one to discuss the robot and the other to discuss the uh, controller, as you can see in the picture below the robot. And um, I'm going to also discuss its interface uh, to the robot. However, uh, this video will give you an overview of this project. First, uh, I will give you a description of the components that make up the robot and the controller. And um, then I, I will give you uh, a, a demo of the robot. Um, I designed all of the yellow gold portion of the robot and printed the parts on a 3D printer. The uh, black parts are 18 servos, uh, which, <clears throat> which provide the uh, movement of the robot. There are also a bunch of screws and uh, some uh, black and silver connectors holding the um, servos. The body of the robot holds an Adreno Mega uh, as the, it's, it's the main processor, but there's another processor, an ESP32, that provides uh, Node-RED and QTT Wi-Fi access to commands from the controller. There is also an orientation sensor that sends data to the Adreno so that the uh, code can be alerted when the uh, robot is turned upside down, if uh, inverted. The Adreno uses a uh, PWM servo shield to control the uh, servos. Unfortunately, the shield can um, only control 16 servos and uh, the robot requires three servos per leg or 18 servos total, uh, which will require two shields. On the top of the robot, there's a compartment that holds a 7.4 volt LiPo battery to provide all necessary power required by the robot. The controller is a Raspberry Pi microcomputer running um, the code that I wrote, uh, C++ code. Um, and uh, it's contained in a case that uh, holds the uh, Raspberry Pi 7-inch uh, uh, touchscreen display. The code uses uh, Node-RED dashboard nodes to uh, create user-friendly icons to control the robot. The use of the icons send MQTT messages to the robot using Wi-Fi uh, built on um, uh, a Raspberry Pi access point to the robot's ESP32. The code in the ESP32 and the uh, Adreno Mega in the uh, um, robot itself uh, is all my code also. Now uh, I, I'll show you uh, the robot uh, moving around. Yes, the uh, 18 servo motors uh, uh, do make some noise uh, as the uh, robot is moving. Now I'm going to uh, turn the uh, robot upside down and you will see that the uh, sensor in the main body picks up the um, uh, orientation and changes the uh, signals the uh, uh, mega computer to uh, uh, send out uh, signals to the servos to uh, put them in the correct position for standing up on its back. <laughs> The robot is now going to be turning around for a while uh, so that it can move in the opposite direction.
the robot is going to lie down and show you it's exercising. The robot is now going to stand back up, which is sort of interesting to see. The robot's going to come back to me so that uh, I can turn it back over and you'll see that the uh, sensor again uh, sends the signals to the uh, mega computer uh, and uh, it will send the, sense, uh, the messages out to the uh, servos for the servos to reposition the uh, feet in the right direction for standing up correctly. Well, that is uh, an overview of the uh, of my Hexapod uh, robot project, and um, any comments will be addressed in the uh, follow-on uh, videos. Uh, thank you for viewing.